Hey guys, so it's the next morning. We got a lot of work ahead of us, as you can see. A lot of material, area cleaned out, which will be nice because this is my office window. So I'll be able to see the pond directly from my office. Let's see how it turns out. We are back at the pond build now. And if you notice real quick, I'm gonna show you this extraordinary thing that I have come across. It's the most amazing thing ever. Britain is upright. And it's only 9.15 in the morning. I cannot believe it. But listen, we're getting this dug. I thought you were going to say, look, it's Brent doing manual labor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not worried about that. I know you do manual labor. Hopefully you enjoy the time lapse and uh, we'll get this done. So my camera died during the time lapse, unfortunately, and I just now realized we're pretty much done at this point. So as you can see, we have a, hole. a perfectly shaped Here. pond hole. Level, level, everything. I am telling you, like, I think we may be professionals at this point, right? I mean, like seriously, I don't even know what to say, but like we did a really good job. I, I don't remember exactly who it was that made the comment, but somebody said that we should build a pond in my yard and fill it with goldfish. I think that's what we're gonna do. I don't know who it was, but we're gonna find the comment and we're gonna shout you out at some point. So Max and I are gonna head up to Home Depot real quick. Where are we gonna grab, bud? Sand. Hey guys, we're going to Home Depot. We're getting some sand and we're gonna put it in the bottom of our pond. That's what we're gonna do today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. We got a lot of exciting things coming. Basically what we've decided to do is forego the blue tarp. I bought this three and a half mil plastic painter's liner basically. Uh, I'm gonna outline the pond with that to start with just simply because it won't drain, which I'm okay with that because it's gonna be underneath water. Uh, as well as it was thicker than any of the weed guard they had. It makes sense on why I wouldn't spend $10 on an entire roll that's 250 square feet compared to buying in the garden section, half the thickness was $20. Now granted it does have water drainage properties to it but we don't need water drainage for right here i do have standard felt like this for weed control that will go around the outside of the pond where the plants will be and where the zero scaping will happen but for inside of the pond this works perfectly especially for ten dollars i'm gonna take this and right over top of it in the bottom i'm gonna put sand to smooth this out it'll give us a nice soft base underneath and then we will put the pond liner in over top of that and then start filling it in with rock so just to give you an idea of how this is working so this is about two bags of sand really just pushed up into the edges to keep the black underlayment laid flat uh, like i said that's just to prevent weeds and punctures to the bottom of the pond it'll also retain water this way as well in case there is a any type of puncture that happens inside of the actual pond liner but really the reason for this is you want a soft base under your pond liner so when you do have a lot of roots which there are a ton of roots underneath here as well as there is a lot of rocks i just actually i don't have enough battery time left to actually run a time lapse i do have a battery charging so i can do that in a minute while i was putting this down there were actually just like right here and right there, two big rocks that would have punctured the pond liner. So anything else that's underneath here will actually be, uh, the pond liner will be protected because of the soft squishiness of the sand between this liner and the pond line. Hopefully that makes sense. And that was just something that I found quickly researching how to build a pond. It says this is a good way to do it. Not sure if it does anything for us, but for six bags of sand, I paid 10 bucks. And if uh, it prevents a hole in the liner, then 10 bucks is worth it. So stay tuned. We are ready to put the pond liner in. I have all the sand, well, all the sand I needed. I only needed five bags, but basically this is what it looks like. So now the liner will go right over top of this. But like I said earlier, the sand is really just to prevent the liner from being punctured, as well as the underlayment here is to protect against roots and and weeds um, as well as allowing leakage if, if the liner was actually get punctured so uh, like I said I'm not sure if that's actually needed but we did it anyway we're gonna get this liner in now I got all the rock in the bottom of the pond I couldn't find my camera for a minute so here it is it's now filling up of course it looks very murky we'll get all that out of there if you look here we have a pond or at least the beginning of a pond. Right now we have clear water in it. Everything is uh, looking okay. We need to trim this liner back around. We'll be good to go. Hey guys, we built a pond. <coughs> hey guys, we built a pond. It's a little murky at the moment, but we'll get that cleared up. We yeah. Got some more rock in it. We gotta build it up. Yeah. I got the liner trimmed down to a more manageable size. It's still not trimmed down as much as it needs to be. 
I'll go tomorrow and get the rock and some more flowers and plants and such and we're gonna finish this all out but right now it's looking pretty good I mean I need to hide the cable for the fountain the fountain's going good the fountain cord will actually come up towards the back corner here which this back corner will actually be where the waterfall goes once we get around to building the waterfall and then the cord will go back around there and then come into my office to plug in there's actually not an outlet out here but I'll probably just have one put in since there's an outlet right there on the other side of that wall as you can see this thing looks pretty good we have rocks in the bottom here let's take a look at these please stay tuned because there will be additional episodes to this particular series showing the complete and utter build out of the pond like i said we're gonna have zero scaping around it some flowers and and plants eventually we'll have a waterfall in the back corner here but this will all be rocked in and um yeah i got my drainage from my uh, downspout here reburied here i need to cut that off and then uh, i have a big huge mess to clean up which we will uh we'll get that done now so like i said i hope you enjoyed it i hope you stay tuned for some more episodes i really appreciate the support i appreciate the subscriptions and the views i'm greatly appreciative to fanatic or brenton and we will see you next time